Deadpool and Wolverine probably going to hit 1 billion by this weekend. I think that it's pretty much guaranteed as of today, it's sitting at 850 million. That's at least according to Forbes here. And I'd say it hitting 1 billion by Sunday is a for sure guarantee. I don't think it can be stopped. The only thing coming out this weekend is Borderlands. And I honestly think that movie is going to fail. We'll see. I've talked to a couple of people that like those games. I've never played them. So I don't know how well they capture the games or not. I've only played a little bit of one of them and I didn't like it. So I didn't. I didn't play any of the other ones because I just didn't like the one that I played. And I think I played the second one. I just didn't like it. I understand people do love those games. That's why there's so many of them. I mean, that's cool. I just, it wasn't for me. Now, that movie, when I talk to fans, so far I, I haven't heard anybody say they're excited about it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll be a juggernaut. I just don't think that that movie is going to stop this from hitting a billion. I honestly think it's going to hit 1.5 somewhere around there because, like I said, I think this is going to have legs. But some people are very upset about this movie, and it's not just the activists or the, the gay activists. They've been very upset. Just about an article a day on how this movie is very istophobic. But... Critics in general, and I know it has a pretty decent critic score over on Rotten Tomato, but that's just for the reviews. You get a lot of these opinion pieces and just articles that, you know, revolve around entertainment from journalists that are entertain entertainment journalists, and they're constantly attacking this movie. A couple of new articles just dropped. This one's from August 1st. I missed this one, but it popped up in a recent search because I was just seeing what people are saying. This is from that Guy Lodge guy again. This guy also wrote an article about how the movie is homophobic. Interesting name choice, too, by the way. Guy Lodge. <laughs> Maybe that's his real name. I, I don't know. Uh, just a funny name, given the things he writes, that he his name is Guy Lodge. So, here's another article hating on it. Uh, this is from 12 hours ago. Be warned, Marvel fans. Deadpool and Wolverine is using you. The comic book movie has cameos galore, with everyone from Channing Tatum to Henry Cavill popping in to say hello. In the wake of its star's latest tweets, it looks increasingly like a film that was used to test the waters for potential sequels. Gambit spinoff, anyone? I don't think you're going to get a, ba a Gambit spinoff. It's just not going to happen. Now, will you see Gambit on the X-Men lineup? Yes. I think Gambit is going to be in the new lineup, whatever they do. Uh, he's just promoting his friend. Chan Tatum really wanted to play Gambit. Like This was his dream realized. That's an interesting story. There's a reason why he was playing Gambit. He was supposed to play Gambit. There was going to be a Gambit movie, and it kind of got crushed by the Fox-Disney merger because they cleaned house on a lot of stuff that was in production. And that movie was, I believe, in production. It was at least getting ready to roll. It was greenlit. I think they finally had the script, and they were wanting to make the movie, and it didn't happen. And he was attached to that character, and that's not going to happen now. Now, could he play, Chan, could Channing Tatum play Gambit in the new movie coming up, whatever that is? I don't think so. I don't think they go with him. Maybe they will. I think he did a good job, so I would be okay with him coming in to play the character, but I don't think that that's going to happen. I think it's mostly going to be an all-new cast except for a couple of carryovers, and that will probably be from Secret Wars. Who those people are, I don't know. Not sure. Like Deadpool will for sure still be Ryan Reynolds. I don't know if they go with Hugh Jackman. We'll see. There's an interesting rumor that Henry Cavill is going to play Wolverine, which I think would be the right. That'd be a good choice. That'd be a good follow-up to Hugh Jackman. He, for the like half a minute we saw of him in Deadpool and Wolverine, he, he looked pretty good. Uh, but this movie, 
is getting so much unnecessary hate from a lot of these opinion writers in Hollywood media. I think it's it's disgusting because these people propped up a lot of bullshit from Marvel, Captain Marvel, the the Marvels. That movie they they acted like that was Marvel's modern Shakespeare, and that movie was a piece of dog shit. And this movie, while not perfect, is definitely a lot of fun. I would have more respect for these people if they trashed both movies, but they don't. We know why they're trashing this one. Two white straight dudes in the lead. Well, <laughs> I'm so people always try to get me in the comments. Like, yes, I know Deadpool isn't. I'm talking about Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman in general. And, and even still, Deadpool just does funny shit in the movie. There's, they don't make out, which a lot of people want to happen. But you know who is happy about this movie's success? Theater owners. Theater owners are very happy because, you know, they've been, they've been in the shit for a couple of years now. And finally, you know, this movie and that Inside Out movie and Despicables and Bad Boys, they've all performed pretty good for them. I don't want to see theaters die. I would like to see theaters stick around because I don't go as much as I used to go, but I still do like to go to the theaters. So they're pretty happy, but all these, all these woke critics, it's just funny to watch how they react over this. A couple of rumors have been floating around. I think Marvel Studios realizes that they've put themselves in the shit and apparently they've been purging people. And it started with Victoria Alonso, the woman who wanted to call the future of the X-Men the mutants. Remember that? Remember when she said it? And Kevin Feige even came out and was referring to them, the X-Men as the mutants. And I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Now, according to Chris Gore, I don't know if the video is actually in here. But that's where this comes from. So Chris Gore was on Critical Drinkers, Critical Drinkers channel. And I think he was on, I don't know if he was on WDW Pros, but the, the clip that's used came from Critical Jank Drinkers open bar video. Or his live stream, sorry. And he revealed that they've cleaned house. I do know people who work at Marvel. They have cleaned house, said Gore. They quietly months ago fired all the producers that could be labeled activist. Gore continues with mention of Lucasfilm. However, he claims Star Wars is a lost cause. Lost cause. Unlike Lucasfilm, Lucasfilm is lost. They're lost. They're doubling down on all that nonsense. You never get anything good out of them. That's it. Now, I've heard about some firings. I was watching Nerdrotics live stream earlier. He had heard something about people being fired. I think Marvel is going to try to change. Not Disney. Marvel is going to try to change. And whether or not they can actually do that or not, time will tell. I mean, they already have things in the works. We're going to have to sit through some slop. But the real test will be, you know, after what's in, I'm trying to think of what's in development right now that's going to drop. And everything up to Ironheart. So that Agatha all along garbage. That show's going to be garbage. It just, I'm just, I'm calling it. It's going to be awful. There's just no way that show was good. That, don't see it. That's, that's phase four or five. It, like embodied Agatha all along. And then we're going to have the Ironheart show. Captain America. I forget what they're calling it. Brave New World. Because they've changed the title, I think, two or three times. And then I want to say there was something else, but it's off the top. I can't remember. It's all the stuff after that, I think, that they might try and maybe go back to the way things were. We'll see. Uh, I do believe all those reshoots about Captain, Captain America, Brave New World. Did you know there's a quote from Harrison Ford? said on set, <laughs> let's shoot this piece of shit. <laughs> Harrison Ford, he's totally in it for the money. And, you know, people, I did a, I clipped some of Flashcast and put it on my other channel 
where we're going over his red carpet interviews from, or not, his SDCC interviews. And people were getting mad at how much he doesn't care. But you know what? I got to say this about Harrison Ford. It's honestly refreshing how honest he is. Like, he's literally just doing these movies for cash, probably to give, I think he has kids, so probably to set them up for life. It's called generational wealth, and he's going to give his kids a whole bunch of it. And, you know, at least he's not fake. Like, I think you're getting the real Harrison Ford no matter where he is. And I know his attitude probably turns some people, in fact, I know it turns some people off. But in a world of just fake phonies, in Hollywood, it's refreshing to see someone like him. (laughs) Anyway, will Marvel change? It looks like they're trying to. We'll see how well that plays out. Fantastic Four is going to be the real test for them because that's starting now. They haven't started to shoot that at all yet. So that movie is going to be a real test because that movie, I think is going to be the real first big thing under this new this new no longer messing around with activist BS that is supposedly happening at Marvel Studios. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, my, my honest advice is don't get your... Actually, keep your expectations low. Let's put it that way. So we'll see what happens. Don't get too hopeful. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.